Hello fellow Aussians, I'm the Louisiana Quadling, and welcome to my channel. Today, I am in the sunshiny state of Florida, on vacation going to Walt Disney World. And today, we won't be going to Disney World. We will be going to a new Wizard of Oz museum that opened earlier this year in Cape Canaveral. And if you're in the Orlando area, it's a little over an hour drive away. So this could be a great addition to your next trip to Florida. So, I'm gonna get dressed and get ready and we will be on our way to the wonderful land of Oz. See you in a bit. We headed out around nine o'clock in the morning. On our way, we took the toll roads, which did reduce our time on the highway. There are other highways you can take that don't have toll roads, but I think those might take a little longer to get there. Once in Cape Canaveral, it didn't take us long to reach the museum, which was easy to find. We got to the museum around 10.15. The museum gets you in a real Aussie mood with its emerald green facade. The yellow brick road leads you right to the entrance. Once inside, you come across the museum's gift shop. There was a large selection of items for sale, and there was something for every type of Oz collector, whether you loved the MGM movie or the original books. There was even a first edition of The Wonderful Wizard of Oz for sale. If you're interested in anything from the gift shop, they do have an online shop, rareozbooks.com. I've provided a link in the description. I did pick up a few things from the shop, but didn't pick up anything that was too big. Anyways, we bought our tickets, which are $20 for adults and $15 for kids, and made our way into the museum. The museum's first tap goes in order by year, starting with L. Frank Baum's wonderful books, and makes its way through to the 1960s. The tops of the cases indicate which decade you were in. After the 60s, the museum mixes and matches the items together in the cases for an eclectic display. There were many items in this museum that I had never seen in anyone's collection, like a diary from L. Frank Baum's family, a prop from the original 1903 Broadway musical. I didn't even know anything survived from that show. A signed script from the MGM movie. Check out those names! The museum didn't have too much from my favorite Oz movie, Return to Oz, but there was still plenty of other items that I'd either never seen in person or didn't know existed. I was really impressed by one feature I've not seen in any other Oz Museum. Each case had a QR code that sent you to an audio narration that gave even more information on the contents of that particular case. In the back of the museum, the Wizard of Oz was playing. Around the projection were some mannequins dressed as Oz characters. I loved the winged monkeys. Besides the QR codes, this museum also had an interactive room. 
that features 360 degree projections of the Land of Oz. You can literally walk or run down the yellow brick road to the Emerald City. They hope to have more scenes in the Land of Oz in the future. And that was my visit out to see the new Wizard of Oz Museum in Cape Canaveral. We spent the rest of the day in the area, mainly sightseeing and shopping. Had a lot of fun. And now I'm back at the condo. It's the end of the day and I'm tired. <laughs> if you are in the area, it is definitely worth it to come out and see this new museum. I do realize that if you are flying in to the area. You aren't going to have a vehicle to get to the museum. You can always rent out a car for just one day and go out to Cape Canaveral. It's a good one day's trip. There's plenty of other things that you can do in the area. If your trip doesn't include a beach, Cocoa Beach is literally right next to Cape Canaveral. You can go to Cocoa Beach. Um, if you are going on a cruise going out of Port Canaveral, the museum is literally right there next to the port. On our way to the museum, we passed up one of the Disney cruise ships that was literally parked right there. I mean, it was just minutes away from the museum. So the location is definitely perfect for that situation. This is the third Wizard of Oz museum that I have been to. And as far as how it compares to the other ones, I would say it's definitely in between the two that I have seen. Have you ever been to a Wizard of Oz museum? Or is there one that you wish that you could go to? Comment down below. And if you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe. New videos are posted every two weeks on the 15th and last day of each month. And if that doesn't satisfy your appetite for Oz, follow the link in the description to ozclub.org and join the International Wizard of Oz Club. Until next time, bye y'all.